Scott, following the first leg, you know exactly what the new Saints have to do tomorrow evening. Yeah, um, very much similar to how we set up and performed last week, really. You know, we can't, uh, we're not in a position to, to just say, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll put three forwards on the pitch, we'll go maybe a 4 3 3, we'll go and press them all over the place, and we'll just go and expect to, um, you know, get goals back straight away. We're not, you know, we're not naive enough to think that. So it'll be very similar. Whether we choose the same team, we're still deciding on. Uh, we'll train tonight just to see how a couple of the boys are, and then we make our decision tomorrow. So, you know, we're in no rush. Uh, 24 hours time, we'll, we'll be in uh, a positive frame of mind and, and make sure that we can that we can give as good as a performance, if not better than last week. Following the Welsh Premier League game on Sunday, two of the players that came in both scored goals, two goals each of course. Does that affect your thoughts for tomorrow's starting lineup? Um the, the two entirely different competitions, so you've got to um adjust your squad and your team accordingly. So yes, obviously performances will stick in your mind and you'll think that if certain players do well and come on or, or affect the game then you're gonna have a have a thought process of should I start with them or should I use them as a sub? So um again we'll do what's best for the, the team squad as a whole will be used, etc. We've also got a, an important game on Sunday, which we have to look forward to as well. Going into tomorrow's game, of course, the pressure, some people would argue, would be on the Danes because they have a 2-0 lead. So in some ways, that does make it a nothing-to-lose situation for the New Saints. Yeah, and the, and the tie overall. If, if we were to win this tie, um, you've got to be honest with yourself and say how many people would put their hands up and say... Yeah, I knew they'd beat them over two legs. Uh, we're always confident of our ability and, and how we play against the the you know the, the better European side. So we're not um, we're not here to make the numbers up, but we're certainly um, at a position in the tie at two 0 where if we get an away goal early on, um, anything can happen. And it's up to us then to manage the game properly. You've already been involved against Mitchelland as a player yeah. way back. Uh, how do you see the New Saints progressing over that time as a club? Yeah, I think you know, small steps every year. You try to improve. Look at our results. You know, we've um, we've drawn, we've won games in Europe this time round. Yes, we've lost, but we've also um, gained momentum. We've gained experience. Players that haven't played in Europe before have um, have took some valuable lessons from it. More experienced players have gained even more experience. So, I think if you look at it, our performances. Certainly some of our results have improved. We've gone three rounds. It's not an overnight success. Unless you've got um, multi-millions to put into our squad, then it's not going to be overnight success. Look at Celtic last night. Millions to spend, win the league every year, out of the Champions League. You know, Against a side where probably, um, on paper, you'd expect a lot of top sides to be. Didn't see the game, can't really comment on, on the opposition uh, apart from on paper. So, you know, we're trying to make small steps and make sure that we are continually um, a gradual um, sort of improvement every time we, we make that Champions League or whether we turn up in the Europa League. I guess in many ways it's keeping the balance between confidence and realism. Yeah, I've talked about being an optimist and a realist and whatever. I don't set um, unrealistic targets because you fall flat on your face like I don't set unrealistic targets in the league in the cups we, we play in um, and I'm very respectful of this opposition as I've seen them first hand I've played in it first hand and um, you know many years ago playing against these here it was a tough game you know a very tough game so we're under no illusion it's going to be even tougher yes we did well in our overall play in Cardiff but you come into their home pitch that you know they very very rarely lose they're a very strong team um, and they've had a, a decent start in their in their Danish uh, top division well, Scott, thank you for your time this evening and we'll let you get on with the training session. Thanks very much.